Hello friends, this video on structural organization of animals part 33 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So with this we have come towards the last topic on cockroach that is the reproductive system of cockroach. We saw how different life processes take place in cockroach, how food is digested, and how uh, respiration happens, excretion, circulation, we spoke about everything. Now one of the most important thing we need to talk about is how do cockroach reproduce, how do they increase their number. So let us now talk about the reproductive system of cockroach. The cockroach is dioecious, that is, they have separate male and female sex. So, there will be one male cockroach, there will be another female cockroach. So, both male and female reproductive organs cannot be present in the same organism. Development through nymphal stage. So, there is no direct here, it is indirect development. So, when a new baby is born, it is not a cockroach. It basically goes through a a, an intermediate stage which is called the nymphal stage so that nymph will be formed and that nymph will later develop to form a cockroach so let us talk about the male reproductive system what are the different organs which together form the male reproductive system testes vas deferens ejaculatory duct seminal vesicles mushroom gland male gonopore and male phalomere so these are the organs which together form the male reproductive system similarly talking about the female reproductive system organs like ovaries oviduct vagina genital chambers spermatheca collateral glands and female phalomere are some of the organs which together form the female reproductive system so now we will discuss about the male and the female reproductive system in detail one by one. So let us start our discussion with the male reproductive system. So let us look at the male reproductive system of a cockroach. So the most important organs of the male uh, reproductive system is testes. They exist in pairs and they are located on the lateral side in the fourth to sixth abdominal segments. So these testes, what do they do? They help in producing sperms. So the male sex cells are produced by the testes. Next is the vast difference. What is vast difference? They are nothing but the thin tube-like structure arising from each testes. So they basically carry the sperms which were produced by the testes. So these organs are something which are common to many different organisms. For example, in human beings also, the male reproductive system has testes and vas deferens. Ejaculatory duct, the vas deferens opens into the ejaculatory duct. So here you can see that these are small duct-like structures which open together into this duct, the thicker duct. So thicker duct is the ejaculatory duct. Seminal vesicles, they are found associated with the mushroom gland. Sperms are stored here in the form of bundles called spermatophores. Now what happens is testes produce sperms. Now the sperms are carried by the vas deferens and then the vas deferens gets into the ejaculatory duct. Before that there is an area of temporary storage of sperms that is called seminal vesicles. Now here you can see the structure, this is nothing but the mushroom gland. So in association with the mushroom gland is present the seminal vesicles. They temporarily store the sperms. How do they store sperms? In the form of packets or in the form of bundles. These bundles are called spermatophores. Now as and when needed, the spermatophores are released from the seminal vesicles. Mushroom gland. Mushroom gland is the utricular gland. It is an accessory reproductive gland present in the 6th to 7th abdominal segment. So here you have the mushroom gland. It basically it doesn't have a direct, direct role to play in um, the reproduction. However, it is an accessory reproductive gland. The inner layer of the spermatophore. Now when I talk about spermatophore, that is the sperm bundles, it is it has a three layered wall now the spermatophore is well protected the sperms are precious so they are well protected so how are these three layers formed 
Now the inner layer is formed by the mushroom gland, the middle layer is formed by the ejaculatory duct and the outermost layer is formed by the phallic gland. So different different parts form different layers of the spermatophores. So the mushroom gland plays a role forming the inner wall of the spermatophore. Then you have the male gonopore. What is male gonopore? The ejaculatory duct opens into the male gonopore. Now, for every male reproductive system, the basic function of the entire male reproductive system is to produce sperms, I mean, to create sperms and then release those sperms outside the male body. That is what they have to do, right? So here in this case, testis will produce sperms then all these structures, vas deferens, ejaculatory duct, seminal vesicles, they all will help to carry the sperms to the exterior. So now from where there has to be one hole or there has to be one pore through which the sperms will be sent outside. So that hole is nothing but the male gonopore. So this will, the ejaculatory duct will carry the sperm and will take it to the male gonopore. Now there are some asymmetrical structures surrounding the male gonopore which are known as phallomere. So the phallic gland name has also come from the word phallomere. So now you understand the yeah, overall uh, function of the male reproductive system in a cockroach. They have testes to produce sperms, vas deferens to carry the sperms. They have seminal vesicles where the sperms are temporarily stored in the form of spermatophores. Then the ejaculatory duct will carry the sperms as and when needed to the male gonopore and the male gonopore will release the sperm to the outside or to the exterior. So this is the male reproductive system of the cockroach. Now let us talk about the female reproductive system. So what has to happen in a female reproductive system? They will produce egg, they will receive the sperm which is produced by the male reproductive system and then the fusion will happen between the sperm and the egg. Fertilization will happen and a new organism will be formed. So that is the basic idea. So let us see what are the organs and what do they do. So the first is ovaries. They exist in pairs. They are located laterally in the second to sixth abdominal segments. Each ovary contains eight ovarioles. Now ovaries are the organs which produce eggs. Now each ovary is made up of around 8 ovarian tubules and ovarian tubules are nothing but ovarioles and these ovarioles contain the developing ova. Ova is nothing but the egg. Right? Okay. Next is oviduct. It is a tubular structure or a tube-like structure which is arising from each ovary. So this oviduct is going to carry the egg which is produced by the ovary. Next is vagina. Oviducts of each ovary unite to form a median oviduct. So it is like, let us suppose these are your ovaries, so they will produce the eggs. The eggs will come out through the oviduct. The two oviducts will join together to form a common duct. And that will open into an opening which is the vagina. Genital chamber. Vagina will open into the genital chamber. So this is your genital chamber. And what happens there? There you have spermatica. Spermatica exist in pairs and they are located in the sixth segment. So here you have the spermatica. What do they do? They will basically receive the sperms. You also have colliterial glands which exist in pairs and they open into the genital chamber. So here near the genital chamber you also have these glands which are again accessory reproductive glands. And then the last but not the least Uthika. Uthika is that portion which contains almost 16 fertilized eggs. It is made up of a protein secreted by the colliterial gland. So basically what is happening in case of a female cockroach? The ovaries will produce the eggs. The eggs will travel through the oviduct and it will reach the 
genital chamber which is present in the vagina near the vagina in that genital chamber you also have a structure called spermatica which will receive the sperms from the male cockroach so there will be a fertilization between the sperm and the egg and as a result fertilized eggs will be formed so whereas these fertilized eggs present these fertilized eggs are present in uthika what is uthika uthika is a structure which is made up of protein and this protein is secreted by the coelenterial glands so that is how fertilized eggs are formed so let us quickly look at the process of reproduction exchange of spermatophores during mating now when mating happens between a male cockroach and a female cockroach spermatophores are transferred from the male cockroach to the female cockroach fertilized eggs enclosed in uthika now once the sperms enter inside the female cockroach fertilization take place between the sperm and the egg and the fertilized eggs are located or placed inside uthika uthika dropped on a suitable surface near food source now this uthika which contains the fertilized egg is dropped out of the body of the female cockroach and this uthika will gradually develop into a new organism development is porometabolous so here the development is not direct as i said there is a nymphal stage involved so first a nymph is formed from that uthika then that with gradually over a period of time that nymph will develop into a cockroach so this is how the development is this is the uthika so from this a nymphal stage will come and then gradually it will grow to form a big cockroach and then again an adult cockroach will form uthika by reproduction it has been observed that an, that on an average any female cockroach produces almost 9 to 10 uthika and each uthika consists of some 14 to 16 eggs so it is not that one cockroach after fertilization can give birth to only one new organism it can give birth to many organisms because see if it can produce some 10 uthika and each of them has 16 eggs so it is like 160 new cockroach can be formed so this is how reproduction take place in cockroach and this is how cockroaches multiply in number so with this we have reached towards the end of discussion on cockroach and i hope you got a fair idea on uh, how the different life processes take place in in a cockroach thank you please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos attempt free online test get free study material find tutors and mentors thank you once again